So now we come to our first section, Karma and Experiencing its Results on AN 10.217. So can you please turn to page 10? And I shall read out to you the extract. Because I do not say that there is a termination of volitional karma that has been done and accumulated so long as one has not experienced its results. And that may be in this very life, or in the next rebirth, or on some subsequent occasion. But I do not say that there is making an end of suffering so long as one has not experienced the results of volitional karmas that have been done and accumulated. Like I say, there are so many negatives here, so I hope you understand what the Buddha was trying to say. Now pay attention to the last line or the last sentence. And there, there is this phrase, making an end of suffering. Do you see that? I do not say that there is making an end of suffering so long as one has not experienced the results of volitional karmas that have been done and accumulated. To paraphrase the Buddha, what he's trying to say is that you cannot make an end of suffering unless you pay all the coming debts. Right? I mean, that's to put it in our modern language. So, what is meant by making an end of suffering? That's what the discussion topic is about. Does it refer to the moment of attainment of Arahanship, which is also called Kilesa Parinibbana, or to the physical death of an Arahant, which is called Kanda Parinibbana? I think most of us understand Parinibbana to mean the final passing away of an Arahant. Correct? But Kilesa Parinibbana means the final passing away of the Kilesas, of the defilements. Because at the moment of Enlightenment of an Arahant, the Kilesas are completely eradicated and they will not arise again. So it's, it's a complete or final passing away of all the Kilesas. At the moment of an Arahant's death, his physical death, there is the final passing away of the five Khandas, of the five aggregates. So there is a difference. One is the final passing away of the defilements, and the other is the final passing away of the aggregates. So, which one is the Buddha referring to when he said making an end of suffering? So, that's all. Very simple. So, please start your discussion.